Hello, my friend. Welcome back to our channel. I am Christy, CEO and founder of De Silva Life. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of my absolute favorite topics, time blocking, but in Google Calendar. Our previous video, we talked about time blocking in our favorite project management tool, ClickUp. So if you missed that and you're interested in it, I'll make sure to link it in the description below and you can check that one out. But if you have seen floating around on the internet, people beautifully blocking their schedules to look like this, with pretty brand colors or just a really appealing color palette and knowing that they are crushing their productivity goals, then this video is for you. So I'm gonna go through how to actually create this time block in your Google Calendar with customizing it to whatever colors that you want. But before we dive in, I actually just wanna to talk to you about what time blocking actually is. So if you're not familiar with time blocking, time blocking is when you basically set different categories or chunks of time to be dedicated on working on specific tasks. It also could be blocking things like your morning routine or a lunch break or the time you work out every day. So we'll also add those in in the tutorial as well. There are a couple tips I want to show you too in terms of actually setting those time blocks as busy or free to make sure that if you have call schedulers or things like that, they'll be automatically blocked off. Making sure that you're dedicating a specific amount of time to specific tasks during the week is seriously going to set you up for success. We all have so many things on our to-do list at any given time, and you wanna make sure that you know that you're gonna take care of these things eventually, and they don't have to be floating around in your head while you're trying to focus on something else. That's the beauty of time blocking. When you set it in your schedule to work on this thing, whether it's client work or something personal or working out or your morning routine, you're able to focus on just that thing because you know the other things are scheduled in later. Okay, so let's dive in to how to time block and color code your Google Calendar. So here we are in my CEO calendar, which I have time blocked to really say, okay, here are the different time periods each week and each day where I'm working on specific things. So I wanna just go through first how I've mapped out this schedule to work for me. Yours is gonna look different. And then we're actually going to create it together from scratch. Okay, so you can see here, I have different calendars that have different colors for different things, okay? So we have um, morning routine is yellow. We have anything in navy blue is De Silva Life internal. We have this purple is K&J work. So this is check-ins, the dark purple, and wrap-ups at the end. And then we also have K&J work, a gray version. That is to say, okay, we have our, our start and stop of each day. And then for the bulk of what we're working on that day, what are we working on? So you could see Mondays, client work, Tuesdays, client work, and then the afternoon is calls. Wednesday, focus project. Then we had course revamp and learning, which actually we finished revamping our courses. So now I'm going to change this in there. Then we have client work on Thursdays and then calls in the afternoon, focus projects Friday morning, focus project course revamp and learning Friday afternoons. We have a lunch break during the day. This really was 1 p.m. but now we're in Brazil so this is 2 p.m. our time. And then admin and client check-in so you can see right each day starts and stops at a specific time. Now this looks pretty late because this is all adjusted one hour. So this is really um, four to five, and then this is six to seven. So right now, this is how my schedule is mapped out. We kind of have a lot of stuff going on as we're getting closer to the end of the year. But as your schedule shifts and change, as you go through ebbs and flows of being more packed in your life or your business and less, you're gonna adjust these time blocks as you go, right? So you can see then also HoneyBook meetings pop in as this bright blue, our main branding color, because we say, okay, these are our actual client meetings, our discovery calls that people have booked. 
Um, and system school as well. If we have system school things, that actually shows up in our system school calendar through Advent, and it's our teal color. So this is really our main structure that stays consistent every single week unless we change it. And then our one-off things come in as a different color and really stand out as well. So let me actually show you what one of those looks like. Okay, so here on the next week, you can see that this is System School Monthly Office Hours. And then if we had a HoneyBook meeting, so a client booked, it would come in as this blue. And one other thing I wanna say, we also have personal, okay? So personal things we have in as this red color, so it really differentiates, okay, this is a personal thing we have going on, a call, a vacation, etc. Okay, so now that I went through what my current schedule looks like, let's actually build this out from scratch. So I'm going to go into this clear calendar. I'm going to just press W, it's gonna take me to a week view, and then let's start building this. Okay, so first of all, you wanna think of your different calendars and categories. So I'm gonna do the same type of thing. I'm going to do a morning routine. So you're gonna click bottom left corner, plus create new calendar. I'm gonna call this morning routine. You can add a description if you want. You can say what time zone and then create calendar. After I create this calendar, I'm actually gonna do a couple, right? I'm just gonna do them all in one shot and then I'll color code after. Then let's do K and J work. Then let's do Lunch break, I'm actually not gonna do. I'm gonna do um, meetings. And then personal as well. And create, perfect. So now I'm going to go back, now that I've created all of those calendars and you can see I doubled up on some of them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my branding colors. So I have stored mine in this color picker extension. Um, and so I can see picked color history and then see all of my colors right here. Another tip for you, you could always go to Pinterest and look up like pretty color palettes. If maybe you don't have branding colors, maybe you're doing this just for like school or um, you don't have a business and you're doing this just for your personal life totally up to you. You can just pick something that you like. So you can always just search pretty color palette on here and then come on here and see, okay, here are these different hex codes. What theme do I want to go with? And then pick those hex codes. Okay, but I have my branding colors. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick these colors. So let's do picked color history and let's do this purple. So now I'm going to go to K and J work and this is where you're gonna add the custom color. You can pick these colors here as well. I find them to be a little more harsh when they're all on one calendar. So I like to pick the lighter version of my branding colors, press save. Did that save, hold on, have to do pound. There we go, save. Okay, morning routine, I wanna do a yellow. So let's grab that morning routine, add, paste, save, and then lunch break. I'm just gonna do that, um, that dark gray. Then let's see what else I have in here. Um, the red, so I'll do like pink for personal, picked color history. and save. Okay, so now let's map out the schedule. Okay, so let's say Mondays, I wanna do my morning routine from six to eight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click into here and I'm going to pull this. I'm gonna say morning routine. And then I'm going to say, this is my morning routine calendar. So you see it turned that pretty yellow. And then I'm going to make this repeating. So I'm going to say, every weekday, Monday to Friday, save. Morning routine is done. Now we're gonna do, you see how we have a DLT meeting every Monday. 
So say you have things that kind of vary and so maybe your admin starts a little later because you have a 30 minute or one hour team meeting every Monday. So then I'm going to say, okay, and let's do DL team. I'm just going to make this, um, let me pull in that navy picked color history. So I want to show you this example. Okay, so say we have DL team meeting. I'm gonna move that back. DL team meeting. And this is going to be weekly on Monday. So now I'm gonna say this is DL team, perfect. And then save. So now for the admin, let's say admin and team check-in, we're gonna have to create essentially two calendar events, right? So this one is gonna be repeating. Um, this is gonna be custom. It's gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Never ends, save. And this is going to be K and J work, save. So now you see that's there. And then this one, I'm gonna have to do admin and team check-ins. And this is going to be K and J work. And this repeats on weekly on Monday. So you saw how I made that discrepancy of, okay, it's easy when you're adding an event and it's just, it repeats every single day, Monday through Friday. But then what if there are kind of funky ones, if Tuesday and Thursday look different or one day of the week is a little bit different. That's how you make that differentiation. Okay, so then from there, I'm also going to do client work. Let's actually schedule in our lunch break. So let's say that's 12 to one lunch break. So here is a tip for you, okay? We could do this as personal, right? And we can also say, I'm gonna actually make this one this gray color. So you also have the option within one calendar, you made that main calendar a specific color, but then you can make a certain event one of these color palettes. So you can't create multiple custom colors inside a calendar, but you can say, okay, lunch break, this gray is fine, so I'm gonna make that. Another tip I wanna show you. You wanna decide if these events are busy or free. If you have any schedulers out there in the world, we use HoneyBook schedulers with our CRM. Let me actually show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's inside. We have a bunch of different schedulers for different things. And we connect these to my Google Calendar and the team's Google Calendars so that anything that's marked as busy, when someone goes to schedule a call in here, all of our stuff that's busy in our Google Cal blocks off this calendar. So you're never gonna book, double book yourself and you never have to manually go back and forth coordinating schedules, which is the bomb.com. If you're interested in a scheduler and a CRM, we have so many other video tutorials about HoneyBook on our channel. So make sure to check those out. Okay, so just wanted to mention that as well. Okay, so busy means it's gonna block off schedulers. Free means, hey, I'm just creating this time block, but someone can still schedule a call in there. So you'll see our client calls, these are set as free because we want people to have that open availability there. So here I'm going to repeat this. Um, cancel, let me repeat on every weekday. Save. And then you're going to map out your blocks as well. So here, let's just say five to six is um, daily wrap up. Okay, and we'll do, this does repeat every weekday. We're gonna do K and J work, save. Okay, so now we wanna create those time blocks of the, the client work, things like that. So here I'm gonna go, Monday is a little bit different because I have less time in between my meeting. And also don't be afraid to have white space in there, okay? You see how I have this gap here from this block and then my lunch break? Feel free to not have to stuff every single moment of your calendar. This is what we call white space. It's basically saying, hey, go take a break. You have nothing to do right now. So I wanted to mention that as well. Okay, so this would be client work. 
and then we'll say this is K and J. And then you can also make this a different color or you can make this, I think we had this as a gray. So you can say um, a different thing in there, right? Um, hold on. So I actually went back to my calendar to see what I did. I made the main color of this, this gray color, and then the lavender is what I chose as, I chose this color for the other one. So I'm actually just gonna keep this as um, morning routine, right? You can always go in and adjust these as well. So say I went into here, let's actually do that in case you're wondering. So this, instead of that lavender, I made this that gray color right? And then these, I came in here and I said, you know what? I actually want this to be this lavender. Save. And okay, if you make a change to an event, so say you changed a time block, the name of it, you changed when it happened, you could say, I want it to be just for this event or this and following events. Okay, so you could say, we dismiss that. So then you'll see here, if I do it for these ones, save this and following events. So now it changed all of those. Awesome. Also, you can right, check, right click to change the color as well. So let's go ahead and make these ones that purple as well. And then we're gonna finish out those time blocks, this and following events, and it's going to change all the colors. Okay, so now I'm gonna say here, I'm doing client work and let's pull that up a tiny bit. And we're gonna say K and J work. I wanna make sure this is free, safe. Then here, this is gonna be client work. And I'm gonna say, I'm actually gonna do this one Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'm gonna do custom, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, done. And then this is K and J work. And let's make this free, save. So actually, maybe you wanna block off Monday, Wednesday, Friday from calls, so I can make that one busy. Okay, and then I'm just going to finish these out, right? So let's do here, say we had um, internal DL work. Obviously, this is different than my regular schedule. I just wanna show you how it all fills in. So let's do K and J work. This repeats custom, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, done, save. And then this let's block Tuesday, Thursday as calls. So we do calls, K and J work. We're gonna make that free because we wanna make sure that that is in, available in our scheduler, custom, Tuesday, Thursday, and done. That is it. So we have now scheduled our time blocks. You'll see if I ever go to move this, right? I'll say, do you wanna just move this event, this and following events? If I go to add a personal thing in here, so let's say this was a personal errand, whatever it was, you can add this into the personal calendar, save, and this is just gonna overlap, right? So it's not gonna block off the other stuff, it's gonna overlap in those spaces. So say I moved this to this time, now you'll see it pushes over those calls, so now that's gonna block off that time in my call scheduler. So if you ever wanna make adjustments to these time blocks, come in here, change the time, click that you are going to change it for all following events. If you just wanna change it for that specific day, just click this event and it's just going to do it for that event. So that is it. That is how you time block in Google Calendar, making it beautiful with whatever color palette you want and really maximizing your productivity by saying, I'm just gonna be focusing on this one specific thing during this time of my day during the week. So that is it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you're interested in snagging our time blocking bundle, this is for ClickUp users who would like to time block in ClickUp. We also have this time blocking in Google Cal tutorial in there as well, but it's really just a great bundle to be able to plug and play and start your time blocking journey. 
I'll make sure to link that in the description below. Other than that, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I hope it was helpful for you. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.